Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Ahmed. Uh, and uh, thank you a second time because you could overcome the technical error. Thank you very much. And I think now um, uh, I would like to introduce Dr. Yahya Al-Ashri from uh, Seuss Canal. And Dr. Yahya, also, if, if it's better if you can go live uh, and we cannot rely on the recording uh, anymore. Uh, so if, if you're ready, please go and share your screen and go ahead. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, can you see my screen now? Yes, yes. So first, I'd like to thank all the organizing committee uh, for uh, giving me uh, this opportunity to uh, talk about station two surgery. Um, also, I would like to send my thanks to Dr. Ho for sharing some slides with me. And we are going to talk about station tube surgery, a game changer of your uh, practice. So there is always a bit about definition of station tube dysfunctions and its indication for surgery. And here uh, is a clinical consensus statement on balloon dilation for station tube presented at American Academy of Otolaryngology 2018. And they stressed on the uh, strong evidence of negative middle air pressure, the presence of type B or C in malogram. But there is some patient with persistent symptoms of type challenge. In this patient, uh, you will see normal uh, type membrane and normal and type 8 malogram. But if you look by endoscopy, you will find station tube pathology. Also, they stressed on the multidimensional evaluation of station tube dysfunction using field history, otoscopy, audiometry, tympanometry, and nasal endoscopy. Also, not considering bobbing, clicking, or a fullness for pressure as a specific symptom for station tube dysfunction because they also can present in other non otological diseases. We should think about Station to dysfunction as a spectrum of disease, where in one hand lies the most severe form of the station dysfunction, obstructive form uh, with the severe edema of the station tube, station tube that does not open at all, thick mucus, and also you will find as media with effusion and five beta manogram. And here lies patient with, uh, with this severe form of inflammation with a moderate edema of the station tube and lymphoid hyperplasia, station tubes are partially open sometimes and pass some air and uh, with diffused uh, tympanic membrane infection and type C tympanic membrane. And here lies patient with minimal form of disease, patient with baroque challenge symptoms, you will find normal tympanic membrane, type A tympanic membrane, but if you look with endoscopy, you will find the thick, uh, um, very minimal edema at the floor of the station tube, preventing and causing uh, dysfunction only when the patient is baroque challenge. And on the other hand, here you'll find patient with a uh, batulous station tube, where the, uh, the, bat, uh, the station tube is persistently open. And here you can find the panic membrane excursions to prove the batulous uh, station tube with respiration. Um, we, we used to look at the station tube using the zero endoscope. And it also gave us uh, a look for the uh, nasopharynx, the tear cushion and tear cushion but we don't have a better look inside the valve here. So there is an example of left to normal station tube uh, examination here. We look at, uh, first we ask the patient to take a K to see the elevator structures, then ask them for a clean swallow, and if he sees the opening of the station tube, then we ask them for yawn to see the maximum opening of the station tube. And here is an extreme example of uh, severe uh, edema and uh, second tube that does not uh, does a, does not open with uh, swallowing or uh, yawning, we can see the severe edema of the torus of the anterolateral wall, and here we we don't appreciate any opening with uh, um, yawning or swallowing. Uh, also, there is a systematic way of assessing the station tube, the middle combination provided by Dr. Po, uh, M for mucus, we look if there is mucus or not. E for edema, other E for erythema, L for lymphoid hyperplasia, and O for the uh, assessment of the valve opening. This is the most common example of uh, station tube dysfunction, patient with allergies and adenoid hypertrophy. And we clearly see the adenoid here touching the posterior torus. 
and uh, forcing it to anterior thrust and the closing the oscillation tube, closing the destruction. Uh, and in this patient, I felt I first will consider giving him anti allergy treatment for three months. And if no improvement, I will consider balloon dilation of the patient tube for one minute. And for spicing the medial portion of the torus, low setting, such as rotary, and taking out the uh, nasopharyngeal uh, adenoids. And here is the example of this adjunctive uh, procedure after balloon dilation. Substitution tube, we have extra work here for the adenoid and the cauterizing the uh, medial portion of the uh, tubal adenoid at low setting, such as rotary. Then we make sure first to not to uh, cross the midline of the torus. And here is an extreme example of substitution tube obstructive uh, disease patient. 24 year old with long standing history of allergy, multiple vomit tube insertion, previous adenectomy, and two time D tube insertion got occluded. And uh, also, uh, he has uh, a vein uh, adhesion. And here, during the surgery, after taking out the D uh, tube, I start adhesiolysis of the middle ear adhesions and uh, 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 Freeing the pockets of viscid uh, mucus. And then at, uh, at the end of the survey, I'll do grommet tube, starting the uh, nasopharyngeal port here by balloon dilation of the uh, station tube for two minutes, and then uh, uh, repeat the dilation at the orifice for one minute, then cauterizing the nasopharyngeal adenoid and uh, this uh, topless cloning of the pupil uh, adenoid. And here is the patient after three years. Uh, you can see there is no uh, edema or edema. Patient can do uh, swallowing and opening uh, the station tube very well. We appreciate the, the opening here. Normalization of the uh, tympanic membrane. Patient can do valsalva maneuver, as you see now. Uh, this proves the durability of the station tube uh, surgery. And also, we can add some adjunctive procedures at this. Patient with more disease burden, like taking the adenoid and tubal adenoid and uh, making uh, doing uh, adhesive And there is patient with bony position tube obstruction. If you examine the nasopharynx of this patient, you will find normal uh, station tube and without any evidence of inflammation. You can prove this by uh, doing CT. You will find resistant pacification within the bony station tube. Here is the technique of addressing the bony station tube. After presenting the uh, catheter at the nasopharyngeal uh, opening, we introduce the balloon up to the uh, bony isthmus. And then uh, this yellow mark is 31 millimeter from the tip. And it should be at the anterior cushion here. Then we start introducing the uh, eldomatic guide wire inside the, uh, the balloon for the extra 15 millimeter to the uh, bony uh, station tube. Here is the middle ear. We will turn off the light. Then, uh, when we start uh, introducing the guide wire, we'll see uh, this faint red blue. And then uh, we start uh, uh, going in out to reach the uh, soft uh, tissue obstruction till we pop into the middle ear here. Uh, we should make sure that if uh, we, we uh, plan to do this uh, procedure, to uh, uh, scan the, the patient first and assure. The bony separation between the carotid and the uh, bony uh, isthmus. And here is the upper hand extreme example of patient with bachelor's position tube. And um, this defect should uh, go along the longitudinal uh, part of the position tube all the way up to the uh, bony isthmus and not only at the orifice. Consider the bachelor's position tube. We prove uh, uh, the position tube. Uh, the uh, uh, position tube, if we see this uh, the medical brain execution in and out with respiration, there is some patient with a mild form of symptoms and signs, and we can brew the patulous uh, uh, station tube using the reflex decay tune and uh, ask the patient to close his mouth and the other uh, 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 other uh, epsilateral, uh, uh, the, uh, the contralateral the nostril and uh, asking him to breathe in and out. And here is the most common uh, procedure we do for battery station tube after failure of medical treatment, insertion of this IV catheter filled with bone wax uh, and this uh, introduction, uh, um, uh, this introducer. This is a left station tube. 
we uh, do uh, we introduce it along the antilateral rule the same way of introducing the balloon till we reach the isthmus and then we lodge it inside the uh, bony isthmus and uh, this um, shim insertion work work very well for uh, small and large uh, defects also here any work on the bony ostation tube we should make the uh, there is a bony separation between the uh, station the, the bony station tube and the color uh, our technical message balloon duration station tube is both option for the factory station function but first we should uh, do a good assessment using multi-dimensional evaluation of the patient and uh, try the maximum treatment before surgery and after surgery for uh, uh, providing better and much success for the patient. We add uh, adjunctive procedures for treating patients with more disease burden. In the one guide, wire technique is a novel technique uh, for addressing bone obstruction in the, uh, uh, in the station tube, but we need further studies on its safety and uh, fix. Thank you. I'm um, waiting for you. and uh, a very amazing uh, presentation, as uh, we all expect. Now, we are going to start the second session of our uh, event that's concerned with the uh, variable applications of the endoscopic ear surgery uh, in all, all uh, procedures of uh, otology in the immediate ear and uh, recently to the inner ear to the dental canal. So we start by Dr. Mohammed Atwa, my dear friend from Kafr Sheikh, and he will take us a tour 362 in the middle ear for the endoscopic impedoplasty viable techniques. So, uh, Dr. Mohammed, uh, you are with us. Yes, Dr. Olid, thank you very much for uh, your appreciation, me. Thank you, and for your tireless efforts. <laughs> Do things. Yes. Do things yes, I'm ready. Uh, I start. Yes, unmute yourself and you have uh, 10 minutes. Yeah, thank you very much for you all. Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, peace upon you all. Assalamu alaikum. First of all, share a screen. Yes. I'm Dr. Mohammed Atwa, uh, ENT consultant from Kafr Sheikh, uh, Egypt. Uh, honored to be a member of international and uh, uh, Egyptian working group for endoscopic ear surgery. Uh, this group, uh, uh, which I honored to be a, a one of them, uh, 1918, uh, it's uh, an idea uh, become a real in Egypt first in Africa and uh, second in Middle East. And now uh, next, next year, 1990, 1890, uh, become the first, and this is the second endoscopic ear surgery uh, forum. Thanks for Allah and for uh, uh, then for uh, Dr. Sami Alwani, Dr. Osama Nasir, uh, presidents of uh, Egyptian RL gave support for endoscopic ear surgery uh, activities. Thank you very much for uh, Dr. Badr Dean, uh, such a humble man. Uh, uh, he supported, gave his best, supporting us personally and professionally as a great teacher and uh, a good brother. Thank you very much, Dr. Walid, for your tireless effort. Are you are you listening to me, or uh, are, there, are there any problem? Hello. No, we we, we yes. hear you. Thank oh, you. Yes. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank yes. you. Thank you, Dr. Walid. It's very very nice uh, and uh, a very good effort uh, for us. Thank you, organizers, and uh, I wish best for all. Uh, uh, what I I I I, uh, I I need to uh, what tour what middle ear tour what middle ear tour in the scope as a, a, a tool uh, enable us 
to go in a, a, a lovely tour to get the beauty of the Middle ear. Yes. Uh, please, uh, this uh, make us uh, un better understanding the anatomy, pathology, and the disease itself, which eroding the the middle ear uh, and uh, disabling the conductive system. Middle ear uh, uh, need to be uh, a great, uh, very very well visualized. It's a complicated structure. Sorry. And uh, endoscope enable us to, to do this. Uh, it gives us a wide view uh, in comparison to other tools. It's very, very nice. Go uh, and, and depends upon the, the, the quality of resolutions and the, the uh, best technologies, best results, yes. Tympanoplasty uh, is a one of the common uh, autologic procedures we uh, uh, practice in daily daily basis. Yes, but uh, uh, endoscopic one is not. It's almost as the same as uh, the regular tympanoplasty we perform it uh, uh, every time. Uh, indication, contraindication, and the logical assessment, and systematic approach for pre-operative uh, 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 and surgery. Uh, it's, it's almost the, the same. Maybe uh, as a complication, maybe safer, but depends upon the learning curve of the surgeon. And uh, please keep safe, keep your patient safe uh, from the thermal effect and direct trauma of, and the trauma of your endoscope. <laughs> it's an expensive, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe. Uh, a good idea not to lose your money also. Uh, we flash lighting the, the, the ticks and tricks and tips in this tour in the middle ear surgery and the uh, operative bits. That's what we're beginning. This is the endoscope and we uh, uh, re, uh, wide visualize the, the, the ear. This is a external identity canal and this is a, a, a simple perforation. We here uh, uh, refreshing the edges as usual. And this uh, we will, and this video we will make, uh, and this video we will make, uh, In this video, we will make uh, a, a simple marinkoplasty uh, direct to without creation of tympanometal flap. Then go har uh, harvesting the cartilage. Uh, I used to do uh, tragal uh, cartilage uh, harvesting. And this is also uh, uh, for training purpose in the scope enabling even the assistant of you to watch and Keep watching what you do. Just by simple incision in the tragus, keeping the, the, the few millimeter away from the term. And this is the cartilage. Plant dissection or sharp one. And we, we, we here have a plenty and bank of cartilage slicing on modified uh, 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 graft materials. Other graft materials, it's okay. We here uh, perichondrium, we here have uh, a cartilage slicing uh, composite uh, using as a shield graft or using it uh, as a, uh, uh, an island graft, a balisade manner. It's all uh, about your uh, uh, experience and you, uh, your learning curve in uh, performing your otologic procedures. But, uh, but uh, uh, we hear, uh, uh, um, uh, note that the male, uh, male thickness of the cartilage, of the trick cartilage in the male, 
maybe a, a little bit thicker than the female. And reconstruction after either eradication of the uh, of the disease maybe uh, uh, good by uh, thicker cartilage. After harvesting the graft, this is a shield one sliced. We go for uh, just placement. Placement of this graft uh, each to each. Yes, maybe enforced by a perichondria. I used to uh, uh, use uh, a composition of uh, steroids and poetic after this gel foam placing. And, and that clip uh, we do uh, just graft uh, cartilage graft uh, sliced uh, shield grafting placement without enforcement yes dr mohammed al uh, uh, taught us about uh, uh, enforcement by a perichondrium or using it itself it may be a, a good graft material by using in the scope it's nicer to do it here and and uh, you know, it is for uh, uh, adding a growing uh, and uh, factors, growth factors. Just place it also. Timpanoplasty uh, get to to re restore the 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 middle ear function by uh, uh, through the the eradication of the disease uh, and the, this procedure, the normal vertical uh, incisions uh, completed uh, by a horizontal one to restore the, 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 the uh, to eradicate the disease, to uh, reconstruct the uh, uh, conductive sound system and to assure the ventilation routes patent We here uh, reach it, the annulus. It may be the most frustrating uh, step for uh, uh, be, to begin uh, your uh, uh, experience in uh, endoscopic ear surgery. It takes time, and maybe the blood and fogging of the the yes, uh, there is a, a, a middle ear mucosa falls and skeletonization for, skeletonization of the uh, milius. Here we entered. The, this is the corda tympani. No, and we are sure that the 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 middle ear cavity is clear. Here, of sorry. Here, the problem uh, uh, facing us uh, in this uh, tympanoplasty operation. This, uh, uh, the incus was eroded and blocked the uh, uh, anterior tympanic isthmus, which main uh, responsible for main ventilation of the middle ear cavity. Though uh, you are a, a tologic uh, a surgeon and you have uh, to take decisions uh, uh, and you have to do what you you have to do for sake your uh, uh, the best of, for your patient. Here I decided to remove the, the incus and go for type three tympanoplasty after eradication of the disease. Here, the beauty, the beauty of the middle ear cavity by the endoscope, this is the stabis uh, tendon, stabidial tendon, yes.
Oops, again. Exploring the hidden and the corners of the uh, middle ear is the advantage of your uh, of your tool. Uh, uh, hidden corners uh, such as sinus tympani. Very important not to remove. Uh, very important to remove all pathology completely. Not to keep uh, or, or left behind you. Uh, what causes uh, residual after that? Here we, we, we take uh, a tour now, again. We take a tour. This is the facial, uh, tympanic facial uh, nerve. And lateral semicircular canal, we are sure to drill uh the lateral at the wall to complete eradication of uh, of the pathology I, I like that this is the antrum uh, 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 in front of you and you uh, uh, capable for watching the the uh, tympanic facial yes it's your friend now, and this is no uh, 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 facial recess is here. It's a facial valley, yes, and all uh, uh, hidden uh, uh, areas uh, for residual co uh, the pathology. You make sure this this is the angled one, forty five uh, telescope. Now this is angle, zero degree, four millimeter, the ordinary one, and reconstruction, soft wall uh, reconstruction after that, uh, and go for uh, uh, type three tympanoplasty. Before going home, the message, uh, uh, endoscopic ear surgery using uh, the endoscope, Better understanding the anatomy, the function, and disease itself. Uh, 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 the endoscope or telescope, zero, 45, is a tool, and you have to do what you have to do and take a tough decisions for sake of the best for your patient. And uh, uh, the Pharaoh's uh, golden barats uh, welcome you, uh, all of you uh, in Egypt, yes. This is the moment uh, in history uh, 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 that uh, the, uh, the second uh, endoscopic ear surgery forum and uh, uh, African Federation and the Faras welcome you uh, all the time. Thanks to Allah. Thanks for all of you. I wish you all the best. Thank you for the organizer again. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Thanks, Dr. Muhammad Atwa, for the nice presentation. And of course, you are the son of the pharaohs by this amazing uh, presentation. Now, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm going. Uh, I'm waiting for any question. 